All right, good morning. It's a very uh, cool, breezy uh, morning here in Victoria. That's why we're kind of sheltered in the, the compost area. But I just want to do a quick update on the radishes that we planted March, early March. It's been about six weeks. So we did it four different ways, and I just uh, want to show you guys uh, the results. So let's head out into the garden and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so from left to right, uh, what I did was just try to protect them with uh, some viewer suggestions. And on the far left side there was just basically what we use for uh, worm chow. It's just the pulverized oat. And then on the uh, next one to it, just right of it, we used eggshell. Then the one beside that, we used uh, cardboard. I didn't have wood to put down. Um, so I used cardboard to see if we could trap any slugs in there and then on the far right I just planted uh, some scallions in there because uh, Someone was saying that uh, slugs don't like the smell of allium. So we tried that and as you can see from the results They all kind of worked um, There wasn't there's a little bit of pressure on on some of them, but none were destroyed um, We've been picking a few and uh, we need to get on picking um, the rest of them because we got to get some other stuff in there. But um, yeah, some really nice sized ones. They're really tasty and uh, really, really happy with uh, the results. I mean, I, for what we learned, I'm not, not uh, super positive because they all seem to work. It might have just been a timing thing where the slug pressure kind of died down. But um, yeah, it, it was great that they, they all did well. And I did uh, also plant direct sow some radishes in the cold frame beside it. And as you can see, there, there is a noticeable increase in pest pressure. And I'm not sure what it is. It could be slug, it could be flea beetle, it could be, it could be a bunch of things that I'm not aware of. But um, yeah, definitely a little more pest pressure. Now I did direct sow them like three weeks uh, after. So they've only been in the ground for, for a couple, a couple, three weeks. So. We'll see how they do. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be fine. Um, the temperatures are supposed to warm up this week, and uh, I'm sure that will help them out. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely got some some nice nice radishes out of there, and uh, we got an epic one from the cold frame that overwintered, and uh, it, it's kind of funny. I'll put below if it tasted any good. I have a feeling it won't, but um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a fun little experiment to do. So, um, anyways, yeah, just super, super short, quick video. Uh, they're, they're, most of them are going to be that way right now. Um, we're a little short of time, but that's okay. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, if you guys got any comments, that would be fantastic on what you guys use or have success with or any kind of um, just observations would be be awesome. We, uh, we really enjoy them. So, anyways, have a great week and, uh, yeah super dry, super clean, stay awesome. Check out all the uh, volunteers. These are all volunteer leeks, brassicas, pak choy, and lettuce. Any of you guys know if there's like a correlation between volunteers coming up and the best time to plant? It would seem to kind of make sense to me, but um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts.